anchors up, sells it full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. How are you doing today? Doing all right. We're doing an instant react today. We're actually uh, streaming this on Bleacher Report. The the good folks over, by the way, uh, new tradition, good tradition. Let me do that real quick. All right. Let me get my noise gate on. Oh, my noise gate was already on. That beer crack is not going to come through well. Oh, well, um, the, yeah, we're, we're uh, Bleacher Report. Uh, invited us to do their official post game for for Ohio State and Iowa. We'll actually be doing this for this game and the next two games, the next three Buckeye weeks, not the next three calendar weeks, the next three Buckeye weeks. Um, and we will be doing uh, so. Yeah, that is uh, Oregon and Nebraska, but that's not what we're talking about today. Today we are talking about Iowa. Talking about the game that we just saw. Um, Kyle, we'll get into the report card. We'll do our norm, normal scarlet and grade stuff. Um, general thoughts on the game before we do that. Yeah. General thoughts. The started off really strong. Uh, first drive went down for a touchdown. I uh, thought this was going to be a, going to be a complete blowout here, but I mean, credit to Iowa to make plays, create turnovers and try to keep them in the game. But that second half. That second half, uh, Ohio State was just pedal to the metal, just absolute uh, domination, took advantage of everything that came in front of them uh, in that second half. Uh, so, uh, so I think overall, I thought it was pretty good, pretty good uh, game. Uh, definitely a lot of things to clean up, turnovers to clean up, but really impressed to see Ohio State in, in all aspects here. Uh, 35 to 7 victory. And this is kind of like a, like a, a test, so to speak, to see how how state will do coming in November. Uh, it's kind of like a mini Michigan team, so to speak. Yeah, I, absolutely. Um, what on earth is there's a big bleacher report thing that just showed up. I guess they didn't trust us to brand it. <laughs> OK, mental note. That's where they're putting the bleacher report app. <laughs> All right. I'll point, adjust. Sir? I'll adjust the frame for the next stream. Uh, Buckeye Esquire in the chats has absolutely smothered them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the starters pitched a shutout. The, the starting defense pitched a shutout, and that's huge. That's absolutely huge. Um, they completely smothered uh, Johnson, the starting running back for Iowa. Um, he had. Outside of one, uh, again, against the starters, I know he had like a 20 some yard run uh, against the backups, a a acknowledged, but against the starters, he had like one run over four yards, something like that, or maybe four or five yards. He had one uh, decent play where he broke a a, a tackle from a linebacker um, and uh, got outside for a, a decent run. Outside of that play, however, I don't think he got anything more than four or five yards a pop um, at, at yeah, best. Even, even with that even with that big run that he had for the lone Iowa touchdown, 5.7 yards total or 5.7 yards average for Caleb Johnson. Yeah, I, I thought they did an outstanding job uh, keeping him contained too. So yeah. with, with that, Jared, let's go ahead and jump into our report card then real quick. Uh, so for those that's not hasn't heard us before. Uh, we we go ahead and give a report card for the team as a whole. We, we split it up into the offense, defense, special teams, and a team as a whole. And we kind of go through all of those and give different gradings out here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let me actually zoom in on that so it's a little bit easier to read. I have all A's in here currently. Uh, that's obviously not going to be, I don't know, that's a pretty good game. Maybe it will be the, maybe it will be. I don't know. Um, but yeah. so what, what, what we'll, we'll change yeah, what, this as we go. Um, yeah. annoyed about the late touchdown says Austin Graham. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I you know, you always want to shut out, right? Always go for the shutout. And then it moved the bleacher report logo down there. There you go. All right. Uh, well, Roger, it's getting that cleaned up here. So let, let's, let's do the report card real quick. Uh, 
we'll start with the offense here because I think I think to me this is the I think I think this was the big big thing that we were all looking at. How can Ohio State how will Ohio State, Ohio State offense look against a a really good defensive line a defensive front seven and. Yeah, we'll start with the game plan. I think overall, in my opinion, the game plan for Ohio State's office offense here, I'd I'd give them an A. I really liked what they yeah. were trying to do, really spread the ball out, uh, get Trevion and uh Quinshawn uh a good amount of carries. But honestly, that offensive line really set the tone. Best best game so far this year that the offensive line has done. Yeah, I mean, and we'll we'll get to the yeah, but you said an A for the game plan. I'm actually going to go a plus. Um, mm-hmm. I thought it was great. What the, what does the chat have to say? Um, Austin agrees with you, Kyle. Yeah. By far the best game from the offensive line. Buckeye Esquire says uh, answer largely smooth as butter. Uh, Buckeye Esquire also says Ty Leak is such a game changer. Yeah. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Game management. Game management. I thought, yeah, the the second quarter, um, I saw saw mentioned in here about the play calling was suspect in the second quarter. Yeah, it, it was a little bit here, but there was there was dumb turnovers as well too. That really this game should have could have been a lot worse than it was. But I'd say game management, I, I I'd say an A. I'd say an A overall as well too. Maybe an A minus, but I'll I'll stick with an A. Yeah, I'm not going to give him a plus this time, um, for reasons you said like for example i really like the choice to go on the second drive i like the choice to go for it on fourth down okay but at the same time i don't know you know the the play call was weird um especially that but over, second fourth down when you when you had howard running the ball you got two yeah, yeah. Elite that's the play i'm talking backs. about get, yep give it give that ball to them on fourth and short fourth and one let them get that first down there don't don't give it to Howard there unless yeah. you're going to do like a tush push, which they did. not Yeah. Game. But, but, but it was like, yeah, but that fourth down was like two yards out, which is it too was. far for a, t- for a push tush put. It nope. Th- those aren't the right words, but we move forward. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I, 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 yeah. Game management. Um, Actually, I'm going to change my mind. Actually, I'm going to add a plus on top of that. Um, okay. Halftime adjustments. Oh yeah. And that goes along with what I mentioned at the top of the show there. Three drive, first three drives for our Ohio State offense all resulted in touchdowns. We have to, we have to include, we, I mean, we have to include like halftime adjustments for game management and offensively, you know, they were much cleaner the second half. Absolutely. Uh, So speaking of that, let's, let's jump into the passing here. Will Howard, 21 for 25, 209 yards, four touchdowns. And does have that interception as well here. Eighty four percent completion pass uh, pass rating for Will Howard. Can't give him a plus. It- he gets an A. I can't give him a plus yeah. with an interception with a second pass that very well could have been. I mean, at least one other pass that could have been intercepted. Um, can't give him a plus on that, but I am willing to still give him an A. Yeah. Okay. I agree. I, w- I would say an A as well. Uh, so some of those throws that he made was just absolute dimes right where they needed to be. Um, overall, Will does, I think it does a fantastic job of throwing it where it needs to throw it. He does have a tendency, especially these last few weeks here, where he's trying to make something happen in yeah. one or two plays here. But I think overall, I mean, as a game as a whole, outstanding job here. Um, so a question here, do you, do you feel that you feel like at the beginning of the game we were looking ahead i wouldn't i wouldn't think so no i wouldn't really think so just because like Ohio State had two turnovers in that first half there and they were driving on those two drives too so it could have easily been 40 to 49 yeah. to 7 here but they, they 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 had a fumble they had an interception they had um a questionable fourth down play call and like, you can't say, well, if it weren't for that, because those are all things that are a part of the game, right? Like you can't wave them away. You can't excuse them away. Yep. But it's not like they were sleepwalking. I mean, we saw the first drive where they just 
rammed it down. What, what was the, I saw a stat that was the first first that was the first touchdown given up on the first drive by Iowa's defense in years, two years, two two years. years. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. That's a crazy, crazy stat. So, and Ohio Maybe. State did it. I don't want to say effortlessly because it took 14 plays. Yeah, but it also didn't look like it hurt that much. <laughs> like, no. So and again, and this needs to be said, this needs to be said. This is one of the best defenses in college football, not one of the best defenses in the Big Ten, not one of mm-hmm. the best defenses Ohio State will play this year. One of the best defenses in all of college football right now. E like without debate top 10. Without debate top 10. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I would agree with that. Definitely one of the one of the elite defenses in the country here that Ohio State just faced. Um running. We go on to the the running here. Ohio State 40 attempts. Yes, 40 attempts on the ground here for 203 yards. I'm sorry, wait, did we actually grade the pass? Oh, yeah, we did. I'm sorry. I don't know yeah. if the chat did. Chat, do you have one for passing while Kyle gives running stats? Oh, uh, yeah. So, so an A. So an A in there for, for passing from the chat. Oh, okay. Uh, two, over 200 yards on the ground here for, for Ohio State. Uh, I, what was it? Iowa was averaging, it was like under 70 on average or something like that. It was something really, really low so i was yeah i'm just very very impressed very impressed with the offensive line here which we're coming up here as well but running a plus a plus for the running here um first time that i was given up a a run score of the year too fortunately didn't come from one of our running backs but uh was really hoping yeah. to see trey or judkins uh get one of those touchdowns but it is what it is though by the way, your your gain might be a little high. You're a little bit distorted. You might want to okay. adjust that. Um, the uh, next up, uh, chat. Uh, I will chat. I got an A and A and A plus and an A for the running. Um, we'll keep it at Thoughts an A the then. What's that? Thoughts on the running? Oh, I, I mean, you said it like. Okay. Judkins and Trey <laughs> were the best running backs in the game today, which is saying something. Um, yeah. It's absolutely saying something. Uh, receiving. I Where where do we even start? I mean, where do we, yeah, where do we start? It's, it's gotta be an A plus, A plus. Yeah. All, it's all, undebatable. All around for the receiving. Absolutely Emeka, undebatable. Was a, a, a Mecca was outstanding. Jeremiah just putting up highlights every week here. Um, really, really happy to see Brandon Innes getting getting some balls thrown him. I um, mean, he's making plays as well, especially on that fourth down. Uh, lo- love seeing some more Innes here. Uh, definitely going to be a a big part of Ohio State um, in in future years here. Yeah, a hundred percent. The Jeremiah Smith was not a lot of you know a lot of catches necessarily for Jeremiah Smith, but. The one hander in the end zone was insane. Mecca had two crazy touchdown catches. Um, did we see Tate at all today? No, I, I didn't. Okay. I didn't see Tate at all. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that that is true. Um, you could lower it because of the Jeremiah fumble. Sure, yeah, you could. I'm not gonna. I, Everything else, everything else that the wide receivers did, it's sort of like how you can still get a 99% and still get an A+. plus. That's how I feel about the receivers. Yeah. Um, all right. Moving on to the offensive line, which I think is, even though... Specifically the running, the run attack, blocking. Even, even though the run, even though the running backs did a really good job, Will Howard did a good job, receivers did a really good job, the offensive line... Offensive line did an outstanding job. We, we talked about all preseason about we weren't sure how the offensive line was going to do this year. Like that's going to make or break Ohio State is how Ohio, the offensive line will do throughout the year here. And I'm happy to say I'm, I'll give both the run and pass block like an A plus for me, which is I think the first that I've given them that high of a score this year. Very, very, very happy to see. Um, what I saw from the from the offensive line, uh, 
even though it shows that they've given up one sack, that wasn't on the offensive line. That was just Will Howard trying to make a play, went outside the outside the pocket there. Everything else, fantastic, fantastic job by the offensive line. A plus for run and pass blocking. I a hundred percent agree. Um Kyle, it's I mean, you're you're I honestly, Kyle, you're killing it today. I, I don't know how much I can add if I'm being real. Um well, that's the wrong side of that, eh? Uh, what's the chat saying? Got an offensive line A+. Plus. Love having a vet uh, center. Mc- oh, that that is huge. Yeah, McLaughlin is the first or second most important transfer, without a doubt. It, yeah, you, you could definitely say that on the offensive side. I know, I know that Judkins um, brings a lot of the attention with a lot of the breakaways that he's he's had uh, so far this year. But yeah. We talked about the offensive line needed help. They got they got a center in the transfer portal. We we're hoping to see more, but we, we got what we got here. And yeah, you could I definitely can see that that could be one of the most important transfers uh, this season. Um, third down, third down here. Ohio State went seven for eleven on third downs against this Iowa defense. Seven for 11. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So we always talk about how on Scarlet and grade, we always talk about how, you know, we grade based off of expectations and those expectations can't simply be. And like, if it looks like maybe we're being incredibly generous to the offense right now, again, this is one of the best defenses in college football. You grade based off of expectation, not just the expectation set by your guys, but also the expectation set by the other team, right? So based off of expectations, as far as like who Iowa is defensively. Yep. Yeah. A plus. Yeah. A plus on third down as well, but especially with the team, the defense that you went up against here. Yeah. Very happy. Very, very, very happy to see that. A plus on third down, especially against a defense like this. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly, exactly. All right, Jared. um, You want to hit the defense here next or? Well, I think first we do some self-promo. If you are new here, we are the, you know, because we're on uh, Bleacher Report today. If you are new here, uh, we are the Buckeye Sloopcast. you can find us on YouTube, YouTube, uh, dot the sloopcast.com. You can find us on discord, discord dot the Um, we have a great discord community. You can come hang out with us. You can find the audio versions of these shows on, uh, Apple podcasts, Spotify, wherever you find your podcast. And I, I think that's, I think that's it. Come to the Discord, says Esquire. Esquire says, come to the Discord. So, yeah. Um, Yeah, that's it. That's a quick self-promo. And now, Kyle, let's let's, talk about the defense. Let's get to the defense. We we talked about uh, in an episode we had on release last Thursday when we reviewed the Ohio State and Iowa game here that Ohio State's main, main main objective, if I can get that out, is stop is stopping Caleb Johnson. Uh, he is he was going to be the biggest threat for Iowa in terms of how well they're going to do here, and I'm happy to to report that he they shut him down when the when the starters were in. I was really happy to see what Ohio State did defensively to slow down Iowa's rushing attack, but I was a little disappointed, especially in that first half of seeing seeing some of those passes, especially the middle of the field being so wide yeah, yeah. open, still, still concern. We've seen that. I think it's three games in a row where that middle of that field has just been open here. So I, I think if I'm going to be critiquing the defense here, it's, it's still the middle of the field of getting that locked down a little bit more here. Yeah. Um. Again, grade based off of expectations, both the expectations that, we think Ohio state's one of the best defenses in the country. And also the expectations that Cade McNamara is in fact, the quarterback for Iowa to, to say that as nicely as I can say that. Um, 
So yeah, we grade based off it. And Cade McNamara, didn't he start off the game like nine for 10 or something like that? Yeah. 10 for 11 when he's only like a 62, 63% completion percentage quarterback coming into this game. Um, That needs to be cleaned up. Now I will say this. A few games ago, we saw Ohio State's defense kind of not start off the first half great, and then they figured it out in the second half. Last week against Michigan State, Michigan State got like three or four good drives, and then the Ohio State defense locked in. This felt like one or two drives from Iowa before the Ohio State defense. Lo- I, I feel like we're getting that, and it, and it does feel like game plan to me, but it it does feel like the time it takes for the defense to get into the groove of the game, whether that be a play calling thing or an adjustments thing, or if it's a player thing, I, I'm not a hundred percent willing to commit to which thing it is, but the time appears to be shortening. So that that's a good thing, right? Yep. Absolutely. So game plan, I'd say A. I saw an A plus. Uh, somebody said here defense A plus across the board in, in their opinion. Uh, Red Squire says 99% of the quarterbacks will face probably can't beat you uh, if you make them be perfect at five yards uh, per completion the whole night. That's fair and is limited as Cade McNamara is. He is still an incredibly experienced quarterback, and there is something to be said about him standing in the pocket and not panicking and making good decisions, which he did throughout, you know, at least the first half. You know, he he might not be the most physically gifted quarterback to ever grace the Big Ten, but he is a, a, a mature, experienced football player. True. Fair. Uh, so game management on the defense, I, I give an I give an A as well too. Uh, 226 yards for Iowa. And we, we know Iowa's offense isn't all that great, but them shutting down Caleb, them not letting up too many big plays. I know there was a, there was a few runs here um, that uh, Caleb had the one touchdown, but that was not against the starters. And their other running back uh, Sullivan had one as well. That went uh, pretty long as well too. So other than that, yeah, honestly, the pretty good job of really, limiting Iowa and getting them off the field uh, as, as much as they can. Cause yeah, Ohio State had the ball almost 10 minutes more, nine and a half minutes more than Iowa here. So kept Iowa off the field and uh, Ohio State had some pretty good length, uh, long drives there. Really happy to see that. Absolutely. Um, the run stop. Well, uh, real quick, I, I'm, I'm actually going to go with a, a plus. Okay. Um, don't know what the heck just happened there. I'm going to go with an A plus uh, for the game management again. And, and I actually went, and I don't know if I said this out loud or not, but I actually went A minus on the game plan. We need to not wait a few drives to get into the groove of the game. But I do like that we get into the groove of the game. I feel like we yeah. make really good, smart adjustments. So that's a that's a game management thing. Wouldn't mind to see us show up with the game plan ready more often, if that's even what's happening. Mm-hmm. Run stop. Uh, yep, run stop. You I, face one of the on. best running backs in the country. You face one of the best running backs in the country. And like I said, at the top of the show, you held him to um, one good run against the starters. I think through the first half, he had an average of under three yards per carry. And again, like I said, he against the starters had one. I would say I don't I don't have the exact numbers on this. I'd venture to say he had one carry over five yards. Uh, looking at here in the first half, he had one that was exactly five yards in the first half. 
Yeah. So that was, that was his longest one. Yeah. And in the second half, he did have like a, like, I think he broke a tackle from, I think it was Cody Simon in the second half where he got a decent run. Yep. And against the starters, that was it. He of course breaks a 20 some yard mm-hmm. touchdown against the backups yeah. uh, and gets, I was lone score on the day, but against the starters shut down um, a plus. Yep. Uh, Are pass we, rush here? Uh, no, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not done yet. Um, in, in, what, what was your grades? What's the chat's grades? Yeah, I would, I would say an A. Uh, they, I, I just closed it here. They held him, they held him to under 50 yards. Uh, the, the starters, that is. They held him to under 50 yards. I, I'm, that's, that's a, a, a plus, a, a plus for me. That's a fantastic job. And then I see an A in, in the chat here as well, too. Yeah. And question, is it Ty Leak? Ty Leak comes back this week and all of a sudden the defensive line looked disruptive again. I, I've been saying that, Jared. I've been saying that Ty Leak has, is going to be a key missing point for this defensive line here. And yeah, he's been a difference maker. I'm really happy to see the the pressure that this defensive line is finally, we're finally seeing that here against, against Iowa. Uh, Really, really happy to see the pressure making Cade uncomfortable at times here. Make and, and we saw when he's uncomfortable and has to try to throw on throw on the on the move there. He's he's inaccurate, and that's that's what we we were waiting to see here from Ohio State. Okay, so um, a yeah a a from the pass rush. It was overall really happy with the with the uh, pass rush here. I'm actually I'm gonna bump it uh, and go a plus. What were the total sacks on the day? Uh, Ohio State had four sacks. Ohio State had four sacks. Kyle, do you remember when we did Know Your Enemy, which is our pregame show, how many sacks? I don't know if it was Iowa in total or if it was just Cade McNamara, how many sacks they gave up in every game up until today? Ooh. I'll, I'll get, I'd have to look. The number is four. Ohio State got as many sacks on Cade McNamara today that he had yeah. gotten on him the entire season up until this point. That's an A plus That's day, it. in my opinion. And and one of those sacks was a was a strip sack. Yeah, Z spikes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. A, Z a plus spikes. I see in, in the chat here too. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, pass coverage. Pass coverage. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll bump down a little bit there. Uh, I'll, I'll give like a, a B plus. I'll say B plus for the pass coverage here. It kind of goes back to what I mentioned a little bit ago. That middle of the field seems really open here. And I hope to see in the future that that gets that gets locked down, that gets fixed as the as the season um, progresses here. I feel like feel like Sonny Styles has still been figuring out what it is to be playing linebacker in many ways. Um, I think some of those coverage issues has been on him, but I also think we saw him as a linebacker take a big step forward today because it may have yeah. been a little rough in the early going, but as the game went, he was fantastic. Like again, two or three drives into the game. It's like something flipped and he became himself all over. You know, that's, you know, the, the him that we were used to seeing at, at safety, that dominant disruptive force. We started to see him be that at linebacker today. Do you have stats on, on Sonny styles day? Yeah. I feel like yeah, he had that, a ton of tackles. He, he did lead the team. He had seven total tackles at uh, Cody seven was right behind him with six, uh, Four, four of those seven tackles were solo and two of those tackles were tackle for losses. I mean, two TFLs on the day, leading tackler for the day. Mm-hmm. Those are good numbers. Yeah. Nine, nine tackles for loss for the team. That's huge. That, that's, that's huge, yes. That's yes. why the run stop gets an A+. Plus. Um, yeah, pass coverage, I, I'd say B+. Plus. Happy, happy to see Iggy getting his interception here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Really, really happy to see that. Uh, tackling, tackling here. Uh, 
I think overall, as a, as a season, I think Ohio State's done a pretty good job tackling. There's been there were some iffy ones, but I will give credit to give got to give credit to Johnson. He's he's just such a outstanding running back. He's going to make guys miss. He's so yeah, strong. Yeah. Going to going to shrug off um, weak tackles. So I I'd expectation say like a yeah I'd say B plus. I'd say B plus as well too. Uh, maybe A minus, but I'll, I'll stick with B plus. Um, yeah, I mean Caleb is such an outstanding running back, but th- there was definitely some iffy tackles that should have been made. But that's just me being picky. Welcome, Kabuto. Um, yeah, for for tackling, I'll go A minus. A lot of what you said, but it and if it were a lesser running back, I might join you in B B plus. But again. Johnson's one of the best running backs in the Big Ten. Yep. If not the country, you you have to grade based off of expectation. You have to understand that a guy like that is going to make plays. Yep. And last stat for the defense here is third downs. Iowa was five for 12 on third downs. Uh, Could have been one for one on fourth downs, but uh, (laughs) uh, thanks for that timeout there. And then and then and then taking that part yeah. there for us, uh, but five for twelve on third downs for Iowa. I, I I can't grade this high here just because of expectations, knowing that Ohio State should should dominate over a. It's let's just be honest. It's it's not a good Iowa offense, and Ohio State should have dominated right from the start here. Five for twelve does seem a little high. To me, so yeah, I will. I will say like a B for me. There, there's definitely some plays where they were third and five or longer, and they got those third downs. It's like, man, like, like it got to tighten up a little bit there. I think I saw a former Buckeye uh, chimney Chequa said on those third on those third and shorts, like just man up and play ball. And I, I agree with that. You got got to play up a little bit tighter. On, on those third and shorts and get, get your defensive line and lineback blitz, blitz blitzing linebackers to make a play there. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I totally agree. Um, I'll probably match. I'll go ahead and match your grade. Um, Z spikes in our uh, discord here. Jared just says just blitz should have just blitz someone every snap. <laughs> Why is he typing in the discord? He's having issues with the app. That's fine. oh, okay, okay. That's fair. That's fair. Um, um, I see a B plus in the chat as well for third downs here. Uh, okay, Kabuto says this game could have easily been fifty to nothing if not for a couple of miscues. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Fifty is kind of a weird score. Maybe <laughs> fifty one, forty eight. <laughs> All right. Uh, special teams. All right. The last the last group here is special teams here. And we'll uh, definitely speaking. talk about the special teams after we do some self promo. Uh, yes. Uh, self promo time. I round. Eh, I round sometimes too. I appreciate the the hustle. Uh, visit the sloopcast.com. It's a campsite page um, where you can find all of our other links. Most notably, subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, come join our Discord server. Find the audio version of the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, whatever, wherever you find your podcast, just search Sloopcast and you'll find us. Um, and that's it. Join the Discord. If I, if I could tell you one thing, come join the Discord server. It's a fun community. Come hang out. All right. Nope. Nope. Went back to the wrong one again. I always do that. Uh, uh, special teams. So Special first one teams. here, I, I I can't really say too much with these place kicking. I say didn't attempt a field goal at all. So I just got to give them a straight eight for that. Nothing, nothing bad for that. How many touchbacks? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Uh, if I can <laughs> pull that up real quick here. Did... I'm, I'm looking to see if there. Well, actually, the question is, was there any return? Returns. There was yeah, one return. Good. There was mm-hmm. one return. And, and and to be fair, he he returned that like one yard deep in the end zone. No, oh, you know what? I'll take that. Hey. Yep. So that goes into kick coverage too. Yeah. A no 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 issues on punt returns and kick returns. I mean, Ohio State they only punted like twice. Yeah, twice. And uh, Iowa 
returned it once for 12 yards. Not not that big of a deal. So I'd say, I'd say an A for for um for punting as well. Yeah, we didn't do it a a, a ton, but when we did it it worked. Um man, to to put some salt and I know this is more of an Iowa special teams play than it is a Big Ten or a uh, Ohio State special teams play. Not only did I, one of the worst punt punt sequences I've ever seen. Iowa dials up a great fake punt that we all knew it was coming. We all knew it was coming. Even Ohio State knew it was coming, which I'm sure is why Ferentz called the timeout. But th- their tight end hops the pile, gets it anyway. Like it was, it was a great, it was a great run, quite frankly. A good blocking, great run. It was just good football, and they got it. But Ferentz called a timeout and didn't get the conversion because of it. Then the punter shanked it. Ohio State gets the ball back at near 30. I don't remember exactly what the, but it, but it was, it was like in the high twenties, I think. Um, so it netted for like, I don't know, 20 yards, maybe 25 yards. Like, so they only even gained 25 yards worth of field position on top of not getting the first down. Terrible punt sequence was, from Iowa. Yeah, that was. <laughs> All right, and returning for Ohio State. I mean, I can't, I can't really grade too hard on this here, but I mean, there was only two returns by Ennis on both the kick and punt. I mean, you got you got to maybe grade it a little lower on the kick return. He returned it in the end zone. He only got fourteen yards out of that. Like, yeah, that's a failure. Come on, Ennis. Come on, Ennis. So he's, he got, B. I only got bored. Just, he, he did. <laughs> yeah, probably. So B, just, I'd say a B. I will. Oh, I'll, I'll second that. All right. All right. And last one here. We're going to, we're going to go ahead and grade the team as a whole here. Uh, so first one here, effort. I mean, A, is there any, any, anything else I can grade other than an A for the effort here? holding Caleb Johnson to uh, really low numbers, uh, not letting up any big, big plays overall here. Uh, held, held Iowa to under 250 yards. Hey. We yeah. Got a in the chats as well. Yeah. Um, I, I can't think of any reason to disagree with you, um, especially I want to say, especially on the defensive side. Again, at least maybe at the new second or third drive, they were playing pissed off. Like the, mm-hmm. the the comments from Johnson this week about how, you know, and he, he's an Ohio kid. If people listening don't know that he's from uh, Hamilton County, I believe, near Cincinnati. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. He said something like, even if Ohio State had offered me, I wouldn't have gone to play there. And to quote Michael Jordan, um, I took that personally. (laughs) Like (laughs) the 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 team, Sonny Stiles and Jack Sawyer, who are both Ohio kids, both Pickerington kids. um, They they took offense to that. Sonny Styles was jawing with Johnson all game. Like the effort was there. It was, it was a pissed off, relentless effort. And I will take it every time. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to give it a plus. All right. All right. Discipline. This one I'm going to rate lower Um, for discipline. I'm going to say like a, like a B minus. Okay. I'm, I'm wasn't expecting that. I'm, I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Um, the great the rating was grading was a lot higher because I say only had one penalty. Fantastic, fantastic one penalty okay. all all game. Okay, but now now you're telling but now you're telling me why it should be a good grade. <laughs> um, I mean, th- those two turnovers. Uh, the the you got the yeah, the fumble from uh, Jeremiah. Um, I know he's a freshman. He'll learn from that. But like that's. You're you're driving. You're making great. Um, the the offense was moving. You're, Do we? And then you and then you and then you fumble that there. And then the and then the, the this might be nitpicky, well Kyle. Too. So, 
but isn't that more of an execution thing? I think it's more of a, it's like he had it tough. Yeah. The Iowa player just made a great play. It's not like he was dangling the ball out That's there, fair. in which case I would call it yeah. a, a discipline all right. thing. All right. So, all right. So yeah, you're, you're yeah, I, I would change that. So execution, I'll say like a, I'll say like a B well, don't discipline. Leave. I'll say stay with the I'll discipline. Say like an A. Yep. Okay. Discipline. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll say an A. I'll say an all a. right. You're, you're right. Yeah. I just, I don't, I don't think that was, and by the way, they made it deep into the game with until they got their first penalty. Um, I was talking to uh, a Tyler, I believe it was you um, in the, in the discord server during last week's social screen, which is a thing we do where we watch some football together in the discord server, discord.thesloopcast.com always be plugging um, where we were talking about how, you know, the, there have been too many penalties for Ohio State. Mm-hmm. And there have been a lot of penalties for Ohio State. Um, they made it deep into the game until they got their first penalty, which was a holding call. Um, yes, it was. Hi, Tyler. Um, made it deep into the game until they got their first holding call. Um, didn't get anyone ejected this game for targeting. So that's a good thing. Uh yes. You know, because we I think we were three for three on that for the through through the first three games, if I recall correctly. Um, Maybe not. It might have been the first two. But yeah, the. Discipline, I thought was good. I I don't I don't I don't think I have. Anything overly negative to say from a discipline standpoint, Um, I some people might not like all the jawing that was going on. Um, I am personally a fan of it. I'm, I'm cool with it. <laughs> I, I want my linebackers to have a little bit of an edge yep. to them. I want my corner. I, I especially want my cornerbacks to have a little bit of an edge to them. <laughs> All right. Execution, I'll, execution. I'll say a B. I'll say B for the execution. I think there were offensive execution issues in the first half. Uh, I think we can definitely have a conversation here. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go B plus, I think. Um, no, I'll go A minus. And, and the, the reason I go A minus is I, I felt like from an execution standpoint, the defense played an excellent game, at least from a starter's standpoint, from from beginning to last. Uh, the starters on the defense had a lights out game almost entirely. Almost entirely. Fair. Some pass, Fair. some pass coverage issues early in the game, but offensively there were some execution issues in the first half. A fumble, mm-hmm. an interception, a near interception, um, the fourth down play I put on the coaching that was a bad play call. So I I think there were some execution issues by the offense in the first half. Yeah. Um, overall grade. Um. A. Execution B plus. No. A A overall for me, Jared. Uh, you held Iowa to just over 200 yards. You the starters led up under 50 yards to Caleb Johnson. He ended up the stats show 86 yards there, but the starters held him to under 50 yards. Fantastic defense. Offense, especially in that beginning of that second half, was firing on all cylinders. Receivers were just Red Hot Fire, Judkins and Henderson played really well. Howard played really well. Yeah, a offensive line outstanding, the best they've looked. A, a overall. I don't disagree. Um, I, I think this was, this is the offense's best performance on the year. Yeah, um, considering who they were playing, this is the offense's best performance on the year. Mm-hmm. Defense also had a great game, but I was one dimensional. Like we know that we knew yeah. that coming in. I was a one dimensional football team. Um, I still liked how disruptive the offensive line was, or excuse me, the defensive line was, uh, which I think is the most disruptive we've seen the defensive line be all year. And it's not like the Iowa offensive line is bad. Um, 
you don't have you're not putting up the kind of rushing stats they were putting up and only allowing four sacks on the year because your offensive line's bad. Right. Like. And the competition I was played this year hasn't been terrible. This is their mm-hmm. third game against a power four opponent. Um, they already played a Big Ten game. They already played Iowa State. Um, so and Iowa State's a solid football team, if not uh, very Iowa-esque themselves. But yeah, I'm going to go overall. I'm going to go with A uh, as well. Uh, at yep. the end of the day. I was not a ranked team. I was not a playoff team. I, I, I think. In order to get an A plus on the overall, you need to take down. We'll have that conversation next week when they play Oregon, right? You look yep. dominant against Oregon. I'll give you an A plus. I, I, I'm not going to give you an A plus for beating Iowa, who is a great defense plus a great running back. That's who Iowa is. Yep. All right. And that's, that is our gradings here over overall. Really, really pleased with what we saw. Uh, I know that that second half or the second quarter, hey, a, lot of Ohio State fa- a lot of, a lot of, a lot of Ohio State fans were really, really like, like just complaining about like Ohio State should, should have more points. Like we're only up seven, nothing at yeah. halftime. But I mean, we've seen that it's the story of this year. Ohio State coaches and players have been, making really good second half adjustments here. And I, I guess that's that's better than what we've seen in previous years too, when no change has happened. So this we'll, was we'll similar. Take, take that. This is similar to what we saw. Second quarter is very frustrating. Yeah. It was yeah, just, it was. you had some bad circumstances offensively. Some were self-inflicted. Some were Iowa Turnovers. inflicted. Um, you were never going to score 49 points on Iowa. That wasn't in the, that wasn't in the cards. Mm-hmm. Um, defense is too good. Their defense is too good. Um, you, you are never going to be up 20 points at halftime. I mean, you could have actually, honestly, Ohio State actually really could have been, which again, if not for some circumstances, some self-inflicted, some Iowa inflicted, they actually could have been, which I think says a lot about this offense. The team was dominant, if not a tad bit sloppy in the first half. And then in the third quarter, they just went, you know, they ran run shot on, on Iowa. So you, you take what you can get, especially against a team with an elite top 10 in the country defense. Yep. All right, Kyle. All right. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. <laughs> Rip Ohio State opponent Heisman campaigns, Melvin Gordon. Listen, I know the Big Ten West doesn't exist anymore. But man, sometimes those Big Ten West running backs come east and that's it. No, no more for you. <laughs> we don't we don't do that here. <laughs> Iowa, we don't do that here. Sorry to break it to you. All right, Kyle. Um, anything else you want to do, or, or is it time to end the show? I don't. I we probably I the game literally just ended. We probably didn't get anything in the Ask Sloopcast mailbag. Yeah, um, no, we're. I think I think we're good here. Definitely, definitely keep an eye on this Alabama Vanderbilt game. Alabama just scored a touchdown to go down to uh, by five with two and a half minutes left. All right. Well, I guess it's definitely time to end this so we can go watch that. And uh, for those of you watching in the live chat who are already in the Discord server, uh, you might want to jump in the uh, I'm just saying for reasons I can't really say. You might want to jump into the uh, into the uh, social screen stage. So uh, with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to. Drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Bye, everyone.